Now we can start with a new sheen. In this new sheen, we can create our geometry nodes. And inside my geometry nodes, I can delete this. And I start to create my uh, geometry for this is base geometry. And it's the grid. I need also the box. And the box, I apply, for example, the transform sop. here and from the parameters I can change something like for example the scale 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 here and 0 0.1 also for this axis also if I drag and drop this here and the relative chamfer reference and I can divide it by two I remember you can when you change for example the height of the sides here it change automatically, but is based on the construction plane. Fine. Also, I can go here and, for example, I can change the pivot, pivot transformation, because the pivot now is in the middle and I want to move it here in the base. I have two ways for do that. One is apply, for example, minus 0 0.5 and the pivot we can see also is change the height here is moved here, but also I can use the expression with the H script with the centroid expression. Centroid is the expression for create, for move your element in the middle, for example, of your geometry, or you can move it in the base of it. And now I don't want to talk about more about this expression, but uh, you can use, for example, the H script. And for H script, you can use, for example, the dollar CE centroid. And by Y is in this way is uh, go to the center of your element. But if you say, for example, dollar Y min, He take, for example, the base and is moved in the base here. Okay. Also, maybe you can uh, say to up. One, for example, because, oh, okay, I don't divide this. And I say 0 0.5 is moved in the middle. Because if I divide, I divided by also take the pivot transformation. But in this case, you can uh, change this and it's working okay maybe it's not working better now here because it's not more correct because if i change also that is moved up and it's also is moved by this but this is another way for create okay in this case i prefer create minus 0 0.5 is the same value i can have here and move it here okay however now, when I create this, this is the geometry I copy on my points. I need to create, we see also more the stamping points, the copy to points. And the fast way in this case, it's created by the copy to points. Because for this example, I need here. And now I need to create the points where I copy my geometry. So we can come back on our grid and our grid we can uh, change for example the number of segments, the subdivision, okay. And here now I can create the scatter geometry but before I need to create the mountain because I want uh, some nice effects, some nice movements and in the mountain i can change the height for example 0 0.5 and i can change the element size for example 3 or 2.8 if you want you can also apply more points if you want don't, don't worry also we can uh, apply for example the face facet and in the facet we can uh, choose for example precomputer normals so we can have also the normal we can see now here have the position by normals 
okay? I apply, for example, in the scatter point. So the scatter, if I apply the scatter, I see my normalcy change. Okay, we can see here my rotation of my normalcies on this rotation. Okay, but we can also change the dimension. Also, we see with the script, but in this case, I prefer use the simple effects, don't uh, more complicated. And now I have this situation. Okay, now I need to create uh, the geometry for uh, create the variation of this element because I need to create the attribute also for transfer this attribute here. 